Hello everybody and welcome to a special Jason Galka show. Today we are broadcasting from the home of Barbara Ferrix here in Sag Harbor. Beautiful home by the way, Barbara. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for having us. And you are the author of your brand new book, What My Dog Has Taught Me About Men. Yes. What an interesting book, an interesting title. Tell it, us a little bit about it. It was a lot of fun to write and um, work with the illustrator and the publisher on the book. So. It started, you know, with a little bit of uh, just making notes and sending texts to a friend of mine, Becca, and um, she was laughing in class, and she said, you can't, can't be sending these to me anymore. Write them down. Put, <laughs> write a book. And that's how it started. So interesting. And the book is actually based off of your adorable little dog who's, who's roaming around here. You'll see him <laughs> periodically off of Teddy. Yes, Teddy. Teddy's a character and um, he's the first male dog I've had that, um, you know, I was responsible for him myself. And it's uh, pretty interesting to note the differences between male dogs and female dogs. There are a lot of differences, just like between men and women. And how did you come up with that? Like, when did you start like studying Teddy and then comparing him to men? Well, that's what's interesting to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was dating someone, and I said, you know, the reason they don't get along, Teddy and this man, was because <laughs> they're so much alike. So it was just interesting to compare the things that they did. That you know. I think made them not get along because they were exactly the same. Wow, it's so amazing. Like, you know, so many women often do refer to men as dogs, you know, if they are <laughs> cheaters and, and it does happen, unfortunately. Right. But it's just interesting that you found like a comical way of doing it. I mean, I've read your book and it's very easy to read and very entertaining, I have to oh, say. thank you. What are just a couple of the things out of the book that you make comparisons on? Well, I think that the best one is, first of all, you know, women love men and we love our dogs. So it's um, one of the things though, you have to make sure you keep them happy. So one of the ways is, you know, when they do something good, they expect to be rewarded. So you have to <laughs> offer treats <laughs> and both men and dogs love that. And, um, you know, little things like sometimes we have to trick you into doing something that we really want you to do. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's just, it was really good, again, to work with Alexis Seabrook, the illustrator, who did beautiful artwork in, in the book. Did. It's um, hand-drawn and watercolor originals, and uh, nothing was computer-generated. But as soon as I spoke with her on the phone, she just got it, and we just... Uh, <laughs> went with it. It's so fascinating, as I said. And is this the first book that you've actually written? This is actually the second book that okay. I've written. Um, there was a book out in 2005 called um, Dancing with the Boys. I guess men are a common theme. But uh, <laughs> it was about the beginning of online retailing, which I was involved in from 1989 to 1997. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually started online book selling. So we uh, wrote a book about, you know, what it was like to uh, be involved in that at that time. Did you always have a love for books? I always have a love for books. I, I just love to read. Um, I, I adore my Kindle. I don't go anywhere <laughs> without it now. And that makes it so much easier because I like to read a couple of different things mm -hmm. at once, you know, Absolutely. so you don't get bored. And um, I play Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> I love my iPad for the little games. That yeah, I, to. I know. And, um, yeah, and uh, you know, just and also like there are some books that really just are better in paper. Mm -hmm. So some of those, so I still go to the bookstores because I love to pick up books and just look through them and see, you know, what they're like. And how can people pick up this book? Is it in bookstores? Well, the book is in a lot of stores out here. It's going to be in a, all the um, bookstores shortly within the next two weeks. Congratulations! Um, thank you. We did a you know kind of a soft launch out here because. I live out here and I wanted to take advantage of the summer season. Absolutely. And so it's definitely in pet stores, it's in some local stores, it will be in the local bookstores out here soon. And um, it's just available everywhere, also on Amazon and on what my dog has taught me. Fantastic. Com. Oh, what a great site as well. I visited as well. But Thank you. also, what I find great is a um, portion of the proceeds of this book also go to an organization animals that you're involved with? Well, we have actually an organization called, there's a couple of organizations I'm really involved with out here. Of course, the ASPCA mm -hmm. and um, the new Pet Philanthropy Circle, 
but we also have a group called AFTI, which is all for the East End. And what our goal is, um, I'm a board member, we are kind of like an umbrella group that we're raising major funds for the smaller nonprofits out here that find it difficult to, you know, make their themselves known mm -hmm. when you have such big organizations coming out and throwing such lavish benefits and parties and everything. So what we're doing is we're doing a lavish benefit and party, but our funds are strictly to go to smaller nonprofits that need funding within the five towns That's of the fantastic. East End. So it's um, it's after our event is August nineteenth. It's at the Martha Clara Vineyards. It's starring Niall Rogers, oh, if you remember uh, the yes. band Chic, <laughs> and Avicii, who is right now, I guess, like the hottest uh, DJ in the world. <laughs> so he'll be there. And you know, Niall Rogers is involved with the number one international uh, song out right yeah. now. And um, with Daft Punk, is that right? Yes. <laughs> and. <laughs> He would be upset with me, okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's really for a great cause and I hope everybody comes out for it. Absolutely, it's so great as well as you mentioned. So what made you get involved with these organizations? I have always been involved in um, helping nonprofits since I was five years old. Wow. We, um, I remember doing a book or, and game drive for the Head Start program. Mm -hmm with my school and my mother and, and people that were involved in that. And ever since then, I've always been involved with helping nonprofits and trying to raise funds and awareness for things that are going on. Absolutely, it's always so, important to give back to when you can. It really is, it really is. And um, we're also going to give a pro, uh, part of the proceeds, will go to the ASPCA and the Peconic Land Trust, um, which I've been involved in since I moved out here. And I'm on the committee for the, that event also, which is Farms and Fields, and that's on August 3rd. Oh, wow, great. So a lot of big yeah. things happening for you as yeah, well. And, and I, for one, also support the ASPCA because I just love animals yeah. to death. And, and that's what also inspired me to want to interview you here because I love dogs. And, and the fact that your book is based off of your dog, right. Teddy, right. it was just so fascinating. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and, and then, you know, as we, we had put together so many sayings, so we have other books that are going to um, come out as well. And one's coming out for Valentine's Day, just the time. Yeah, one's coming out for Valentine's Day, what my dog has taught me about love. And, um, you know, and that will also involve other people and friends and their dogs. So it's not just, it's still going to be Teddy because, you know, Teddy's the prince. He's the star. And, uh, <laughs> he's around and, here someplace. Yeah, there he he's is. over there. <laughs> But um, he'll be involved, you know, but there'll also be, um, some of his friends will be involved also because he does have a couple of girlfriends. So <laughs> oh. we have to make sure that they're there. He's quite the little player, as oh, they say. <laughs> <laughs> as some men are too, as we said, hence the title of the that's, book. <laughs> that's very true, it's very true. So what inspired you to write about comparing dogs to men and love as opposed to other genres of, of writing? Well, I just think that, you know, it's, it's the standard saying, you know, that, you know, the do dogs and your pets give you so much love mm -hmm. and, you know, there's, there's things that we can learn from that, whether it's, you know, with friendships and your girlfriends, your guy friends, your boyfriends, whatever it is, and, you know, it's, it's, it really is unconditional, but they also have a little bit of, you know, they can get attitudes and you have to be understanding that, mm -hmm. You know, they're not, everything isn't perfect all the time. <laughs> so it's really, it's good to watch that. Mm -hmm. You know, Teddy is probably 80% pretty good, but there are times when he really can be a little, uh, a little They all boisterous. get their mood swings. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's and that's so another funny. one of the sayings in the book, you know, mm -hmm. the best thing is when they're angry, just leave them alone. <laughs> yeah. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> and again, that's what I find so fascinating about this book because I'm reading through it and it's very easy to read, yeah. but you're laughing as you're reading through because right. you're like, yes, that's so true on right. so many things. <laughs> and it's fun to share it with other people mm -hmm. too and say, oh my God, this is exactly what he was doing yesterday. <laughs> like if you're taking a bath, they always want to know like, what's going on? <laughs> or, you know, they, we all need each other's attention. So it's you know, hey, I know, I, know, I know you're relaxing, but can you help me find my shoes for tomorrow? I don't know what I'm wearing. Or, I need your help picking out a shirt. How many times have I heard those questions, John? <laughs> exactly, see? 
say. When did you develop your love for writing? I always, um, I keep like a, I keep a notebook mm -hmm. and I write down, you know, things all the time. And whether it's um, writing down something that you really want to say to somebody, but you know it's best if you don't just say it right away and you kind of want to edit yourself a little bit. Right. Write it down. I, now I use the notes part of my iPhone, but I, I keep all the notes and I write it down and I go back and I look at it again and I edit it and, and you think about, wow, what was I thinking then, you know, and it just, it's just a habit that I've had. It used to be a regular notebook, you know, mm -hmm. pen and paper, which I still do. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's pencil. And, um, <laughs> Because you and can erase, right? Because you can erase and edit, <laughs> erase and edit, yeah. So it just, yeah. So that's 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 what I've always done. Wow. And um, you know, I also like to you know write down what my dreams are about. I keep that in the in the iPhone also. Like I wake up and it's yeah, dreams sometimes that you think are like, wow, it felt like that was like real life. Do you ever think about writing a novel one day? Maybe like a romance novel, for instance. Well, maybe, but I have. I have an idea for an excellent novel based on the Hamptons in the summertime, which <laughs> gives you a lot of material to work Absolutely with. Absolutely <laughs> does. <laughs> We're making a whole show of it. <laughs> I, that's great. That's great. Yeah. So it's um, so yeah. I, I like to write. I have. I do have a lot of um, notes for different different books. Mm -hmm. But I really, I really love the the idea of working on a series for what my dog has taught me. You know about a lot of things. So it's. We'll see how that goes. And maybe it's at the same time I can work on a novel. That was a lot of work. It really is. A lot of time consuming. I mean, how long did it take you to write this book, What My Dog Has Taught Me About Men? This was about six months. <laughs> Teddy, you're too funny. He is so cute. He's it's getting his camera time. <laughs> it took me about six months to um, put together the sayings, to edit the sayings. And like I said, we have so many that we definitely have enough for a couple more books. Excellent. And, you know, we'll just figure out where it is. And, and, and you have an absolutely themes. breathtaking home here in Sag Harbor. And, and, and you actually painted this beautiful portrait here. So you, <laughs> I mean, is your home kind of like give you the inspirations to do some of these projects? Well, you know, between my house here, you know, my home here, and when I used to live in Manhattan, I used to, I always have an open door policy that if my friends want to stop by, you always want them to feel that they can just do that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and even, you know, like if they want to, I have friends that want to come over. Teddy has been um, utilized in more ways than you can imagine <laughs> as a girl magnet, chick <laughs> magnet and a guy magnet borrowed by other people. <laughs> And they come over and they just take him and go for a walk down on the beach or something. And, you know, it's pretty interesting. But yeah, and, and you know, we love to go boating. And even this afternoon, it's a beautiful day here really in the Hamptons. Is. It's absolutely perfect. Would you so, use a day like this to do some of your writing? Well, today we're, we're taking the boat out. And um, my couple of girlfriends are coming with me. We're taking the afternoon off. Oh, nice. And I will have... I have my uh, notebook already because I do want to work on a little, a little mm -hmm. bit more about you know the, what the next book and then the book after that. You oh, know, fantastic. And just you know, write down. And we were talking a little bit before things. we started taping. Teddy absolutely loves boating as well. That's the man in him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tell us a little does. bit more about Teddy. Teddy, well, Teddy's a Lakeland Terrier. He was named after my patron saint, Saint Jude Thaddeus. Mm -hmm. But Tad, he's not really a Tad, so <laughs> we call him Teddy. And um, he's really, he's my buddy. He likes to go with me everywhere. He loves to go on the boat. He drives around. I, if he thinks I'm going in my, you know, I have a truck, a pickup truck that I drive. He thinks I'm going in that, you know, he's all ready to go. But <laughs> he's always had either a seatbelt or a crate because I'm so afraid. Uh, you know, you see people with the dogs and, and I yeah. just have a fear. Okay. I do tell he's, the same way. He's 18 pounds. They're like our children. Yeah, he just <laughs> has to be safe. So he's either he's seat belted in. And on the boat, you know, of course, he has his little life jacket. Oh, and we put so that cute. on him and he, uh, <laughs> he behaves. So he's, and he really likes it. If I were to tell him, you know, come on, Teddy, we're going to go down to the boat. He knows exactly where the boat is. So mm -hmm. he just runs down. He knows out of our little marina that we have here. He even knows which, you know, like he goes all the way to... The, to our boat and he just sits there and waits for me until oh. we can get on the boat. <laughs> so it's, he's, he's, uh, 
That is so It's precious. good and it's fun to have a companion, mm -hmm. you know, that's really good like that. So it's just, uh, but, you know, guys also have to realize that he really is my main man exactly. and it's <laughs> he's always gonna come first he was here first <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you have to really uh you know you have to kind of break them in a little bit mm -hmm. when they uh when they have Absolutely. to deal with Teddy somebody else coming in on the territory men yeah. are very territorial that i know between male dogs and, and men men <laughs> right? they're very territorial and, and you know you guys want our attention mm -hmm. teddy wants everybody's attention too so it has to be a little bit of a balance that's that in the book so too true. yes it is and, and again you can pick up the book on amazon out here in the hampton psych harbor area be sure to do that and in addition to doing the book you actually came out with teddy's treats which we have right here behind us teddy's goodies they're all natural because Teddy has food allergies so when I got him as a puppy and so I couldn't just give him like uh, you know store-bought treats and um, so we make a couple of them as turkey which is turkey and sweet potato there's the chicken oh, wow. which has no hormone steroids or antibiotics and um, it's especially that no antibiotics that's important for the dogs because like children, they build up a resistance and they'll end up with things like ear infections just like children that have right. antibiotics too much. So they, um, so the, and it's, those are marinated in organic chamomile, parsley, and vitamin A. And everything's dehydrated and we have beef that would come, that's just coming out. And um, again, it's really, really good. We, I know where the um, meat's coming from, it's mm -hmm. sourced. And it's, like I said, it's organic chamomile and vitamin A and it's, just oh, fantastic. Sure. I remember when we went to your book signing at B. Smith several weeks ago, yes. I actually took a, a small package home for our dog, Mika, who's an Australian pointer, and she uh -huh. loved them. Oh, really? So, if Teddy loves them, Mika loves them, your dog will love them, too. <laughs> we'll have to make sure Mika gets some more. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. That's great. Oh, good. So, in addition to writing and being part of great organizations and events that are coming up, you're also a bit of an entrepreneur. You own some businesses as well here on the East End. Right. Well, in addition to Teddy's Goodies, I also own a Mosquito Squad franchise out here, which covers most of Long Island. Mm -hmm. And we get rid of mosquitoes and ticks. And um, the reason that I got involved in that is because, like everybody else out here, I got really bad Lyme disease. Oh, wow. And I just felt that there had to be some kind of a solution which wasn't as bad for the environment and the way that we go about it and the way that we apply what we use is done in an extremely conservative but very effective way and I'm very proud of it and the work that we do and um, you know and my employees are all wonderful and they're I have great staff and I'm very lucky and somebody says I use this term too much but I'm very blessed with everybody that's involved in my life everything comes is you know comes back, I guess, mm -hmm. in a way that's um, beneficial. So, and I love to give to everybody else too. And if, for instance, you know that there's um, when there's parties for the for the associations that I'm involved with, we make sure that you know they get the fields get sprayed and that it's you know ready for that event and that there's no ticks or mosquitoes around because they carry really harmful diseases. Absolutely. And when you bring people together, you really don't want anybody to you know be harmed absolutely and so especially something like Lyme disease I mean that's something that's practically with you for life right you know once you have it it's, it's always going to be in your system right. so that's absolutely important yeah so it's um so it works and it's beneficial and you know it's uh it's pretty good and the all natural one keeps the deer away also oh. so <laughs> they'll stop eating your flowers <laughs> and um and it also protects your pets and it protects you know against fleas and Obviously, mosquitoes carry heartworm and ticks again, Lyme disease, for, you know, yeah, so. which Teddy had also. So it's, um, you have to just protect everybody. Absolutely. In a conservative manner. Don't go spraying pesticides indiscriminately all over the place. <laughs> it's not good for our environment. Fantastic, Barbara. Well, we're going to take a quick break here. When we come back, we're going to have more with Barbara Frerichs and Teddy when we return. Stay with us. Thank you. Welcome back to a very special Jason Galka show today, broadcasting from Sag Harbor, and I am once again joined with Barbara Fredericks, 
author of What My Dog Has Taught Me About Men. Barbara, welcome back. Thank you so much. So Grace. thank you so much for the fantastic interview about the book. And Teddy is roaming around here as well. You'll see him. So in addition to your writing and all the organizations you belong to, one of your hobbies is actually boating. And you love spending time here on the beach with Teddy as well. So tell us about your next endeavor. Well, you know, um, beginning in November, everyone who has a boat or drives a boat in Suffolk County has to have a boating certificate, which is like getting a boating license. And I think that's really good. I'm sure everybody's seen in the news how there can be very bad accidents when people don't know what they're doing on the boats. And um, so I, I took that course. And then I, I was like, okay, you know, well, what's next after that? And then I took the, uh, the Coast Guard test. And then I said, huh. You know, this is good. I feel really confident in my boat now, and Teddy and I go out all the time. We take our friends. So now I'm getting my captain's license, that which is a major out. endeavor. <laughs> Absolutely is. And this is what you love to do on your free time. This is a beautiful beach that is not far from your home at all. Teddy's roaming around, enjoying the water and the sand. So this is what you guys love yeah. to do. It is. It really is beautiful here. We're very blessed on the east end of Long Island with um, places like this that really not that many people know about. There's beaches like this all over the east end. And um, it's, but it's also in our best interest to make sure that we take care of them. Right. And this specific beach here where we are now means a lot to you? Well, this beach is um, held in trust for members of my community, the homeowners here. And more than that, you know, that we have our beach clubhouse or we have a little marina, what's really important to me is that we are responsible. It, we're, it's a stewardship for us to take care of the property here, make sure that the natural vegetation stays and that it's not trampled upon. And, you know, we maintain the dune and everything every year. We make sure that it's replenished and, you know, that there's beach grasses growing and there's all kinds of, you know, beach veg vegetation, beach plums are here and it's really, it's beautiful and we have to maintain it. Absolutely. Well, you do a tremendous, awesome job at doing it. It's so beautiful. The scenery is just gorgeous. What a great set for a show. <laughs> oh, really? Anytime you want to come down and uh, film down here, you're more than welcome you. because it really is beautiful. It really is. So, Barbara, tell everybody one more time how they can get your book. Okay. Well, you can get your, the book at um, any of the pet stores out here. It's also um, available in a lot of the shops and as well as on Amazon.com and at what my dog has taught me dot com. Excellent. Barbara, thank you so much for allowing us to come into your home, bringing us here to the beach. Beautiful scenery. Great day to be here. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Jason. You're very welcome. My pleasure. And as always, I will see you next time. Thank you so much at home for watching. Bye bye.